Uh, oh, yeah? Do you know something we don't? No, not really. I am a meteorologist, but it uh, has nothing to do with the skies above about 30,000, 40,000 feet. So okay. let's keep it down here in this part of the atmosphere, why don't we? And how about this? We've got a temperature of 29 degrees outside at the Sunport. Uh, that's pretty chilly. I think we're about 25 degrees this time yesterday, so we're doing a little bit better. But uh, the reason we're doing better is because we've got a little moist airflow starting to move in. Moist air doesn't get quite as cold, and of course, moisture is what you need if you're going to try and generate any snow out there. And that is exactly what we're going to do over the course of the next day and a half, two days or so out there. Now, right now, you see the pocket of cool air kind of waiting over the Inner Mountain West out here. That's to be expected this time of the year, but there's actually a lot of cold air up here over the Dakotas. Maybe a little out of sight for you right now, but trust me, it is moving at a very fast rate. It's going to be sliding into northeastern New Mexico this evening, and by tomorrow morning, I think much of the state will be seeing some of that cold air. And that cold air is going to meet up with not one, but a couple of low pressure pressure systems coming in. Here's one down here off of California. We all know about those storms that come out of California. We had three or four of them last week, but there's another little wave of energy kind of coming in by way of, say, northern parts of Utah. So what we expect to see here is for the storm from Utah to kind of track like this, the storm coming out of California to kind of follow this track. And you see how they kind of come together right over the land of enchantment? And let us not forget that that cold air is on the way, and that is why we think we're going to have some pretty active winter weather before it's all said and done. So here we go from northwest to southwest to southeast to northeast. All areas today will be welcoming the arrival of this storm, first and foremost in the form of clouds, although western parts of the state will see the snow and rain by late afternoon or early evening. Now down in the southeast, you'll get a few clouds. We're going to be cloudy by afternoon, but look at your temperatures. 61 Roswell and the 60s down into Eddy and Lee County. That'll be changing, though. As you see, temperatures further north, not quite as warm. That's because because by late in the day, some of that cool air will start to push in behind a cold front. This all spells snow, though, for the northern mountains. And while all mountain communities will see some snow out of this, the heaviest of snow will be in the east uh, slopes of, say, the Sangre de Cristos. But, of course, even west side and heading down towards Santa Fe, there's snow in that forecast for us. Here's a look at the east mountain communities where today is going to be an okay day. I expect the wind to start picking up, though. And who knows, maybe even by midnight tonight, some snow could be in the picture there. And it's going to be about midnight when most of the moisture starts pushing into the metro. Now, our forecast low 32 tonight in the downtown corridor. We're going to be at 49 this afternoon. So it looks like things may well start as a little rain around here, but certainly with that cold air coming in, it looks like a couple of inches of snow are possible. We could be commuting in on snowy roads in the morning. Not looking forward to that. No, it's going to be. Just, uh, give yourself a little extra time okay. before you come in. Good All advice, right. right? It is good <laughs> advice. Well, how about the commute this morning? Well, it's probably a little bit better today than it will be yet or tomorrow. No reports of accidents right now, and we'll follow that all morning long.